The nation's students made a return to the physical classroom on Monday, 19 April 2021, as the Department of Education, Innovation and Gender Relations declared the third term in the academic year open. Chief Education Officer Dr. Fiona Philip Myers says, although students were away from the classrooms for some time to protect their health, she's happy to be able to welcome them back for a third term. Luckily, we've had loads of parents really speak to the importance that they see in terms of the students being back. Our educators are prepared for them. They're welcoming them back in droves. They're putting on special presentations for them, looking at the physical infrastructure, because we recognize as educators that the longer children stay away from the physical infrastructure of a school setting, the more difficult it is for them to readjust. Dr. Meyer says while challenges and limitations may arise, it will be managed through collaborative effort of parents and teachers as they strive towards the progress and success of each child. Speaking to the health and safety of students, the chief education officer expressed confidence in the children's ability to follow protocols. I would always argue that our students know the protocols better than the adults, particularly our little ones, our infant ones, our primary school children are very good at that. They come in, they come in with their mask, they've done the hand washing, they will remind the adults to sanitize. The social distancing continues to be a significant part of our protocols. And so we have done a lot in terms of educating our children. Similarly, the national public service announcements, our children are very much aware of what to do. So right now it's really about implementing them. It is more about the adults leading the way and showing the examples to our children and also praising them when they do the right things. Parents are also urged to engage students at home on the importance of following the protocols.